Let's talk about how somebody becomes a wealth manager. I mean, I don't know if people grow up and say, I want to be a wealth manager, and I don't know if they have a special course at Harvard Business School or other places, how to be a wealth manager, but what kind of people do you hire who are going to manage the money for other wealthy people, and how do you train them? So training uh, on Wall Street, but specifically in wealth management, is a, is a very, very long process. We, we have 2,200 analysts starting today, and they're going to be working through the summer. We have 3,600 analysts across J.P. Morgan Chase that will that will uh, start at the very end, in the uh, September time period for their full time role. And we work very hard to go through in depth training, and then to work through which ones actually are good at stock investing, which ones are good at M&A transactions, which ones are good at helping people understand things in a more simplistic manner. What she's basically saying is simple. We're gonna put you in a training session. We're gonna give you some tests. We're gonna assess your strengths and your weaknesses. And then we're gonna figure out where do you fit better? Are you gonna fit more in an analytical role? Are you gonna fit more in the sales role? Are you gonna fit more into a comms role? Or whatever roles that, uh, that, that it had with J.P. Morgan. 